Okay, this is going to be uh, John Cena versus Kevin Owens full fight analysis, full match analysis slash review. Uh, this match was good. I, there was a lot of um, a lot of ups and downs. Well, no, there's more ups to this match than down. I, compared to the first one, when you want to talk, you know, direct compare and contrast, the crowd was much more into the match this time around than the last. I think they the first match. A, they were in Corpus Christi, where I don't see a large part of the crowd knowing who Kevin Owens is. Um, the crowd, I remember, was about 60-40 on Pro Cena. This one, I would say, is 60-40 Kevin Owens, maybe even more. Uh, so it was cool to see the crowd more behind Kevin Owens than John Cena. And I think within these few weeks, uh, with the promo build, with the build-up to the match, uh, a lot of new fans have kind of... Uh, gravitated towards Kevin Owens. I think they've seen enough of him. You know, he's had two matches, I think two or three matches already with since uh, their last match at Elimination Chamber that people know that this guy can put on a performance. He is good in the ring. And whether or not you like him or you hate him, you have to, you know, you can't deny the fact that he can put on a good match. And this was a perfect example. Uh, I liked it more... I think even the announcers, you can tell, were much more into this match than they were the last. Uh, I think just this match overall was it was great. It was definitely was, Michael Cole was said, a classic. Uh, I guess there's a lot of people who will kind of argue which match was better. Uh, I, I can't say right off the bat because this match is so fresh. Literally just ended about 10 minutes ago. I can't really come out and say, you know, yeah, this match was better. Because right now I'm all amped up, all those near falls... Uh, the ending kind of leads to, you know there's going to be a rubber match at the next pay-per-view. Um, so, you know, it, it goes, you know, it'll take a while for everything to sink in, but I'm not saying it was a bad match. It definitely was def it, probably going to be uh, a match of the night, match of the year even, candidate. But uh, everything you would expect, you know, John Cena wasn't the best in this match, but, you know, that's taking nothing away from him from the match at all. It's just how John Cena... I think John Cena putting on sloppy matches, I guess you can say, it's almost like a charm because you know the guy's not as uh, smooth in the ring and he kind of has his own weird style of doing things. And he... Kevin Owens brought out the best of him, even though Michael Cole said on commentary after the match was done that yeah, John Cena brings out the best of all his opponents. And I'm like, no, nah, I think it's the other way around where Kevin Owens really brings out the best in John Cena. And same with Neville and other guys that Cena's never even faced before, that people would never imagine seeing John Cena be in the ring with. Uh, so it was a good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, they did a Dusty Road little tribute video right after, so I watched that before uh, doing this. And, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. The aftermath of, uh, of that match, obviously, I think you could see coming from a mile away, uh, they're not going to have Kevin Owens just lose his just his momentum of being one of the top heels in the company right now just it's crazy to think after well, maybe only a month uh, of being on the main roster that he's already considered one of the top heels along with I'd say Seth Rollins and, and Seth Rollins really I don't see too many other other guys maybe Bray Wyatt if you really want to dig deep but there's a big gap between the top baby or top heel and then just everyone else so Kevin Owens is up there and working his way up. And it's crazy to see as a guy who, you know, I got this signed right here. Oh, that, yeah, that's the right way. You know, that's like one of the, the 8x10. His first 8x10 after winning the uh, the world title in Toronto. I was there live for and to see him at this stage right now. It's it's a cool, it's a very, very cool thing to see. Uh, and um, uh, like every other fan, very proud of him. The guy's, uh, guy's living his dream and he's not... Uh, he's not disappointing anyone. So that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video.